Okay. Welcome to tutorial number four. I am Formless Tree 4 and today I'm going to teach you when to use a double and when to use a decimal. I haven't taught you how to define them, but it's very simple. So we're going to go ahead and start a new project. Doubles and decimals. Okay. Now, when it comes to using doubles and decimals, there's not much of a big difference between them. They both do math, and they both output numbers. But then there is, a, there is, of course, always a difference. So, make a button. There's one little button. Whoops. Double click the button, of course. And we're going to, def we're going to do this. Dim answer as double. A double is basically a floating point integer. Floating point integers have they take up less memory and but they do have a slight rounding error. Basically if you're working with really large numbers and you require absolute accuracy, doubles are not the way to go. But um they're good for doing fast stuff, like for instance, answer equals nine times five message box answer like this this is a perfect example of what you would use a double for say 45 9 times 5 is 45 doubles are basically used when precision is not an absolute requirement if that's worded correctly for y'all let's go ahead and delete this that's an example of how you use a double now a decimal It takes more space, but it does not have the rounding error. It is more accurate than double is. So if you're doing stuff that requires extreme precision, then decimal is the way to go. Now granted, if you do the same thing I just did, 9 times 5, then you're going to get the same answer. It's not going to matter. The, the difference is, is how it rounds it off. I mean, if I do this, it's just going to be the same thing. say 45. That's the difference though between double and decimal. Double not used for extreme accuracy, used more for taking up less space. Decimals require more space but are more accurate. So there's a plus and minus to both of them. Hopefully I explain the difference between doubles and decimals. If you have any questions, let me know. That was a very fast tutorial on doubles and decimals.